Hello to family, this is Ravi and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm back with day 4 of UI Builder series. And if you are very new to this channel, do share and subscribe and don't forget to like the content. And before I start guys, I would like to tell you, we have bought a very good mock interview or mock, not interview, mock test for your Udemy. Just a second. Let me open that. So I think that is the history somewhere. I think this one, yes. Over here, you can notice we have bought TSA and CAD, Certified System Admin, Certified Application Developer Test for you so that you can prepare well before you attempt the actual examination. So you guys go ahead and grab it. There are a lot of people who have already done it and this has been created by me and Omendra. You can follow him on LinkedIn as well. And we have clearly reviewed a lot of things, guys. Sitting together, ideally, we have review, reviewed everything, everything, and then we have created it. So this is going to be super helpful for you. And this cost only $4.99 for you guys. Go ahead and grab it. Till then, switch back to our UI Builder. If you remember in the day three video, we have created a UI link to destination, if you remember. So when I click on this, it will show me the list of incident. If I click on this, it will show me the list of incident because I have created this page. But today's topic is, if we are on incident table, let's suppose. And on this incident table, I wanted to get list of all those incidents whose priority is one, state in progress. So matching, how many are there? Progress. 14 and let's take category as software. Suppose, so now we have three records. And I want these three records to be displayed on your UI Builder site. How you are going to do this? So we have a concept here called data resources in service now UI Builder. Let me zoom it a little bit. I hope I am audible clearly. I think. My mic was not perfect. Let me just do one thing. Let me just check one time. Sound mixing. Uh, this is full sound. Perfect. So, data resources is something which we have to create. Data resources which allow you to look up the record, find the data. A lot of things are there. See, aggregate, count, create a record, single record. My requirement is for this today's class is look up record or update. You can update the record. A lot of data resources available. And this is a powerful tool of UI Builder. So you know that UI Builder is low-code platform. Low-code and almost no code. We can achieve it, but some places we will write a script. You will also see. But for this demo, lookup record is something which is return the record that meets the search. So if I click on this, and click on add. What I want, you have to bring the table name. So we can make it dynamic in the upcoming classes. As of now, I am doing incident. And we have an incident record. Now we have a condition here. So we can add the condition, click on edit condition and my condition is priority is critical. Okay. And category is software and state is in problem. Correct. Click on apply. Now, how many results is showing up over here? Three. What was showing over here? Three. It means that we are getting the correct result. So, open the result. Zero, one, two. You can see it is in the form of JSON. Object, you can say also. Display name and the society. Same goes with 51. 52 and this one is 15. Let's cross validate. Yes, 51, 52 and 50. So now we got this data. Perfect. That's all. Close it. So we have created one lookup record. And we will edit the name as, let's say. Or let it be as of now. Let it be. And let it be as of now. I wanted to display this record anywhere across this UI builder. Later on, when we go in the further videos or further classes of UI Builder, we will rearrange beautifully. 
So what I'm going to do is inside the body over here, right click, add component. A body column layout, column layout two, and column layout one, single scorecard where you want. I wanted to create right click before. Suppose single column, and not here, guys. My bad, not here. I want it before this, so right click, add column before, right click, add before, single column. Yeah, now here, I wanted to display all those incident whose priority and whatever we have. Selected should be coming up over here. So, how to do that? We have three records, and three record has to be displayed. We have very important component, guys, called repeaters. Repeaters is like your for loop. Go to one record, get the data, push it. Go to second record, get the data, push, push it until and unless. The data is fully pushed to our form. The same like your for loop for i equal to zero, i less than length of if you are iterating the array or length of the array, whatever it will be, and i plus plus and will exit only when the length ended. So repeater is a beautiful component, guys. This component will allow you to use the looping concept. And CSC task one, task three. This is the looping part. Here I have to make it dynamic. So click on data bind and uh, we have data resources which we have created and lookup record. Correct. Result 1. Double click. Apply. Now we have already selected result 1 but it is not displaying. So to display we need a text. We will create another component called text here. And let's put a stylized text. Now see. You have three things here. One, two, three. Because we have three records. Now we have to modify this. So what I need. I need to go to here. I need to go to data component. I need to go to repeater. Value. Row data. Display value. Double click. Apply. So 15, 51 and 52. So now you can notice. Very easily. I have used a looping concept. To show this data on the form. So what we did now. We have created a data resources. Data resources is nothing but like your CRUD operations are there, like you are using a reference field, like you are using aggregate count, single record, watcher, create record, CRUD operations. This is used mainly for that. So data resources define what data to get from the page, what data you wanted to get and you can configure it. Once you configure it over here, choose a table, edit your conditions, and then go and create a repeater. Repeater will bring that data. If it is a single record only, no need of creation of repeaters because repeater will go to the loop and bring the data to your form. You can search on Google repeater service now UI builder. What it is telling you? The repeater component acts as a loop. That repeats the data you provide in multiple components. And that's what repeater is like. And once you are done with this, save the record. Come back. Refresh the page. Or open your workspace directly. And then workspace. Go back. See, we have 15, 51, 52. But still, link is not there. We have to all do the mapping for it. And we will create a card or we call as a small small uh, uh, colossal pump I'll talk talk about it I don't want to talk it right now so we'll talk about it in the next video so till then you can see how repeaters are used so you can also create a repeaters as per your requirement right and till then stay tuned and don't forget to take this mock test it's just 449 which is less than a medium sized pizza so that's all for today guys We'll meet in the next video. Till then, thank you so much and keep loving, keep supporting.
थैंक यू